presented by CLR. Since the death of Minnie Minoso last weekend, the city of Chicago and the sports world has paid respects to the baseball trailblazer. The outpouring continued on Saturday with another Chicago legend taking his final bow. Jen Latta has more. It is a sad day, but, it, but Minnie, had, Minnie did have a great life. Um, you know, I just thought he was going to live forever. Uh, but it is sad, and we're going to miss him. A funeral for one of baseball's best friends. The final goodbye for Minnie Minoso began with services at Holy Family Church, where family, dear friends, and generations of fans paid tribute to an ambassador and a pioneer of his game. When he was unfairly passed over for the Hall of Fame, Minnie said, if it even hurt, even if it hurts on the inside, I will always be smiling on the outside. That was Minnie's maxim throughout his life, and that is me his message to us today. I mean, play five decades, um, the first man of color to, to, to play in the city. You know, it, it's one of those things that, that, that Minnie did that was, it was special, but he loved people, and we're always going to remember him as loving people. I don't think I have ever seen Minnie Minoso not sign an autograph, refuse anybody. He loved the game. He was proud of his heritage, but he was also proud that he was a major league ball player playing for the Chicago White Sox. You know, sometimes we take people for granted, uh, and you, you don't fully, I think, appreciate them while they're here. I think this man was appreciated. I think he was loved. I think people expressed it because he was so outwardly giving of himself to you. Just a couple of weeks ago, I had to uh, bury my uh, teammate for so many years, because Ernie Banks, and, uh, you know, to hear the other day that uh, Arrestus Minimonoso uh, had passed away. Two great people, two great baseball players who love Chicago. I'm from Cuba, and then uh, he's the only one that made it possible for us, and, uh, he was like my big, my big brother, and uh, Minnie to me he was like my big brother, my father, and I went to miss him. Where he is historically, um, you know, first Latin American All Star, first man to make a black man to break the color barrier for the White Sox. He was an All Star three times before Ernie Banks debuted for the Cubs. I mean, there's this sense of history about him that's truly amazing. He was the Latin Jackie Robinson. And in the tradition of Chicago legends lost, the Cuban Comet made one final trip to the place that was his own heaven on earth. If we were all like Minnie, what a beautiful world this would be. Dignity to everybody. He embodied the human spirit and it made us all proud to know him. And um, he made us feel good about ourselves because he was so easy to love. I wish that he could have lived long enough to see himself get into the Hall of Fame. He deserves to be in there. He deserves, and he deserves to, he celebrated baseball. He was one of the baseball's great ambassadors. So it's a, it's a shame that a, a man like this doesn't get to see it. Well, you don't fill a void. You know, you just go on, and you have the memories. Nobody can ever take away the memories. Uh, you know, we, we shouldn't uh, hold back as far as talking about about Minnie. I know, you know, as long as I'm alive, I'll always talk about Minnie, you know, and the good times. Thank you, Daddy, for being the best confidant, source of wisdom, and the most amazing patriarch that we could have ever hoped for. Antoine Burnett in his first shootout.